All right, BFIT Nation, looks like we are live. Welcome back to a BFIT Live program workouts. Great to have you back. Great to have you with us this week, this Workout Wednesday edition. I'm joined by my partner, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good. I'm doing well, Roy. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well. I'm doing great, actually, because you're here. The team's here. BFIT Nation is here. So I am ready to have a nice, solid workout. Um, if you are new and just joining us for this workout Wednesday, um, this is where we get to focus on ourselves, get to focus on a little bit of a strength conditioning, uh, cardio based movements and resistance based movements to really tackle um, and, and lay a solid foundation for our health and wellness with our BFIT program uh, with the exchange. So uh, once again, uh, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry is with us, myself, Roy Montes here, and uh, we'll get ready to go here. Um, just like every BFIT Live workout, it's, it's always great to help challenge yourself to, to really put in the effort here. But again, every movement should be accomplished to your uh, fitness goals, fitness level, and as well as to your comfort level. Uh, today, we have some cardio and resistance-based movements lined up for you for today. Uh, the way it's going to work, our timing is going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We will go through four different movements within four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. I will quickly demo the four movements that we have to tackle for you today. And then we will jump into some dynamic stretching, getting our bodies nice and worked up, nice and warmed. And then we will get our timer ready and then we will jump into our timers. The workout, uh, the work specifically lasts a little under 20 minutes, but in all, it'll be about 30, minutes, 35 minutes of workout. Sorry, Barry, I see you have a, a great uh, partner over here. <laughs> Say hi, I want to work out too. <laughs> we, we have a, a new, um, a new mascot for us today. So uh, Sorry. <laughs> great. No, no, I love it. I love it. Great to see. I love it. Great to see. Pets are always welcome here. Again, if you're at home, if you're in a home setting like uh, Sergeant Barry, if you're in a, uh, a different setting like myself, or if you're outdoors, what's great about these uh, Facebook Live workouts is you're able to take us with you on the go, throw us in your pocket, throw us in your gym bag, and uh, let's get to it. So what we have for today, we have cardio and resistance-based movements to tackle. Um, let's start off with the four movements. The four movements for today. Movement number one, we are going to go into a squat. Squat to toes is what I call it. So squat up into a calf raise. So just like our traditional squat here. We're going to set back into our heels. We're going to set back into our squat, wherever that squat may be uh, to our fitness level. So keeping our chest up, pushing those hips back, knees are going to track over our toes. We're going to drop down into our squat. From here, we're going to explode up and raise up into a calf raise. So really use that momentum from your arms up into a calf raise. So set back into your squat, nice, strong calf raise, pausing at the top. And then we're dropping right back into our squat. So squat to a calf raise is going to be movement number one. Okay. Movement number two, we're going to grab a pair of dumbbells here. If you have any weight, let's go ahead and grab that. If you don't, uh, that's fine. Uh, grab anything that may add resistance or you can make nice strong fists, but really think about squeezing at the top here. We have a bicep curl to overhead press. So we're going to grab a pair of dumbbells here. And we're going to go into a standing position. So feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at our knees. As always, from here, we're going to raise up into a bicep curl. We're going to rotate out. And then we are up into an overhead press, controlling that weight on the way down. Again, palms facing the front of the room here for your bicep curl, up to your face, rotate out, and then up into our overhead press. Control that weight on the way down and on the way up for movement number two, all right? That's gonna be movement number two. Movement number three, we have a little bit of upper body, uh, upper body, upper body is right, but mid to upper back uh, isolation here. Again, we're gonna drop to one dumbbell here. We're gonna take a nice wide stance. Hand is gonna be placed on that front leg. We're gonna go into dumbbell raises, all right? So um, dumbbell rows for movement number three. 20 seconds on our right arm. And then we will switch, alternate 20 seconds on our left arm. Nice wide stance once again. All right, keeping that chest up. Our chest is gonna be right above our quad, right above our knee, hand placement, nice and nice and stern. And then we are rolling up 90 degree bend at our elbow when we row, 
keeping that elbow close to our torso. You should feel that right in your lats and mid upper back. That's gonna be movement number three. Movement number four, we are down on the floor here. If you have a mat, this may be a great time to grab that as well. We have 10 bicycle kicks and two leg raises. So with those bike kicks, opposite knee to opposite elbow, making sure that our shoulder blades come off of the floor here, rotating with those long extension of your legs here with 10 bike kicks, 10 bicycle kicks. After that, feet come together. We're gonna go down into two nice and controlled leg raises. And then we are back into 10 bicycle kicks. All right, team. <laughs> How does that? <laughs> Sergeant Barry, you know, it's been a little while. So I'm really excited to have you on the opposite side of the screen. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm glad I'm back. I'm a little nervous though because it's been a few weeks, so I think it's slow, right? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It was great. So, uh, just as always, it's just important to take your time to focus on yourself, to really read your body, to really see how you're feeling, see how you're doing throughout the workouts. But challenge ourselves, and I know uh, once our heart rate gets going, once we get some blood flow moving, we will really start to just challenge ourselves. Uh, just that much more. So let's start off with some dynamic quad stretch just to get our body ready to work, some dynamic stretch in here. So uh, let's go back with the traditional uh, dynamic quad stretch. We're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back up towards our glutes, pushing our hips forward. Left arm goes up to the ceiling, sit in that pause for one second, then go ahead and alternate left leg and or right leg, left arm and or right arm, extending up nice and tall to the ceiling here. Again, really pushing those hips forward, feeling that stretch in your quad, hip flexors here, hips, shoulders on the way up. Each of these movements will complete about 30 seconds worth of a stretch. Last one here, and we will go into some lateral lunges here just to open up these hips a little bit more. So we're gonna take a nice wide stance. Feet are gonna be facing forward. Toes are gonna to be facing forward and we are going to shift our weight to the left and to the right here. Pausing at the top, maybe you're pushing your hips forward at the top, keeping our chest up as we lateral lunge over to the left and to the right. Good. I know my hips are very tight right now, so this is feeling wonderful to try and warm these up, warm up my hips, glutes, quads, hamstrings, all in one here. Good, last three seconds, two, one. All right, team. Reverse lunge with that overhead reach. That'll help us a little bit more with a little bit of low upper bo lower body work as well as a lateral um, lat stretch for that reach over. So right leg extends back into our reverse lunge, reaching over to our left side with our right arm, coming back up to standing position, left leg goes back, reverse lunge, left arm reaches over to our right side, Really feeling that stretch in our lats, right and along the side here. Good. Let's go at our own pace here. Dropping that knee down, arm reaches over. Nice deep breaths in on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Last three seconds here, two, one. All right, team. <clears throat> Let's go into YTW surround us out a little bit of that mid to upper back here. So nice, strong stance here. We're going to make a big Y with our arms. Thumbs are going to be facing the back of the room, back to center here. Big T, really reaching to the left and to the right, squeezing our shoulder blades together. Big W, chest is up, shoulders rolled back. <clears throat> good, good, good. Big Y. Once again, we'll go through this sequence two more times. Big W to round us out. Good, big Y once again, a little bit higher. Good, feeling our shoulder mobility, putting our mobility of our shoulders to work here. Big T, squeezing our shoulder blades once again. Last one real quick, big Y, big T, and last one, big W, showing off our biceps here. And that's gonna finish us out. Let's get ready, grab that towel. Yes, ma'am, grab that water and let's get ready to work here. I'm gonna start my timer. And then we will be off to the races. <laughs> All right, squat to toes. It's gonna to be movement number one. Once again, bicep curl to press. Movement number two, dumbbell row staggered. Left arm 20 seconds, right arm 20 seconds. And then movement number four is 10 bike kicks 
and two leg raises to round this off. All right, team, 10 seconds here, squat to raises, squat to toes, squat to toes coming up in five seconds. All right, feet shoulder width apart, soften in our knees, pushing those hips back, two, one. All right, team, let's go. Squat down, raise up, pause at the top, really taking advantage of that squeeze on your calf, roll back onto your heel, drop down, nice and controlled here. Good to your comfort level as well, right? The depth of your squat is going to be to your comfort level. We're going to keep that same great form. Chest is up, hips are pushed back. Really push back in those hips. Really raise up using that momentum of your arms, raising up last five seconds. Add in three, two, one. Good job, 20 seconds here, grabbing a pair of dumbbells, bicep curl to press in a standing position. We can stand, we can sit, we can kneel, whatever we have available to us here. <clears throat> We're gonna go with standing right now. Up in three, two, one, palm facing you. Palms up to your face with that bicep curl, rotate out, overhead press. Good. Controlling our weight as we do with resistance movements, controlling our weight, controlling our movement, controlling our body. Nice, strong movements once again. 20 seconds left here. Control our weight. Good. 15 seconds here. Out in 12. Depending on how this feels in our body, in our lower back, maybe you want to take a staggered stance where our feet are staggered. Last three, two, one, and time. All right. 17 seconds here, and we are in a dumbbell row. So as we remember, a nice wide stance here. We're gonna start off with our right arm first. So our left leg is forward, our right leg is back. Nice wide stance, left arm is on our knee. Right arm has the weight. Two, one, 20 seconds of a row coming up on our right arm, really squeezing at the top, right? Really activating our lat on our right side. Good, so our elbow is tucked in close to our torso. We have that nice long flat back should be relatively straight from our neck all the way down to the back of our ankle. Good, 20 seconds here. We're gonna rotate to the left side. Switch with that stance, nice power stance here. So left arm has the weight, right leg is forward, left leg is back, squeezing with that row, really isolating our left lat here. Last three seconds, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of recovery here. Good job, last and final movement for round number one. 10 bicycle kicks and two leg raises. So on the floor here, eight seconds. Put you here. All right, team, three seconds. We are on the backs here. 10 bikes, two leg raises coming up. All right, let's work. 10 bicycle kicks at our pace. Out of that, feet come together. Two leg raises. Good. Now we're back into 10 bikes. All right, 15 seconds here. Keeping our core nice and tight. Shoulder blades are off the floor here with our bikes. Opposite elbow to opposite knee out of five. Finish it out. Last three, two, one. And time, all right team. 60 seconds to recover here. 60 seconds of rest is what we get because we worked so hard during that first round. <laughs> all right, all right, let's bounce back up team, bounce back up. Let us know how you're feeling. We have, um, we have the video live with us today. So if you have any questions or any comments, leave us a note in the comments below. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know if it's your first time. Let us know if you're a, Returning member, we always love to see the positive comments down below. We love to see where you're from, where you're out working out from, what are your goals uh, this week, this month, uh, the remainder of the year. We have, um, what are we at, 30, 40, 50, uh, maybe 50 days left in the year, <laughs> something around there. So uh, <laughs> we are uh, coming up on the last of, uh, of the year of our goals. So let's make sure and Hit that goal. All right, team, we are on deck here. Squat the toes coming up in two, one. Here we go. Down into our squat. 
Really thinking about raising up, engaging our calves here. Good, nice, strong squat up into an explosive calf raise. <laughs> 15 seconds here. Nice deep breaths, keep our chest up, knees, feet, shoulder width apart. Seven seconds, up in five, out in four, three, two, one. Good job, good job. All right, team, way to finish. Absolutely, way to finish that one out. I know now we're getting warmed up. Now we're firing. <laughs> Sorry, Barry, it looks like we both got the memo today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bicep curl to shoulder press coming up in three seconds. Two, one, here we go. Curl up, rotate out, overhead press. Good. Now, of course, if you were just in a bicep mood, you can do the bicep curl alone for 40 seconds, or you can do a shoulder press alone for 40 seconds, but we're all about maximizing our time and different muscle groups if we're in a crunch. So we have this combo movement here, curl to press, last three seconds. Out in two, one, and recover. Good job. Drop into one bell. Good, nice wide stance here. Again, nice wide stance. It's gonna give us a, night, a lot of stability here. Five seconds. Left leg is forward, right hand has the weight. Two, one, here we go. Making sure our left arm is placed firmly on our knee. Our chest is just about knee level, keeping our back nice and flat and our head is looking a few feet in front of us. <sighs> Squeezing at the top here, five seconds and we will alternate arms and legs. Two, one, all right, left arm here. Let's work on our left side. Good, dumbbell comes up, <clears throat> comes down right by our calf and raises up just below chest level. Five seconds here, three, two, one, time. Good job, good job. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> we are down on the ground here, 10 bikes, two leg raises. What's a workout without some core isolation? <laughs> Four seconds here, 10 bikes, two leg raises coming up. Here we go, team. Again, we're going, moving at our own pace here. Your bikes are quicker than mine. <laughs> I'm enjoying that. Two leg raises here. <clears throat> Good job. I like to keep mine nice and controlled, really engaging my core here. Two leg raises. Again, if you wanted to scale up that leg raise, you can raise those hips up off the floor, bringing those toes up, leading toes to ceiling. Last five seconds. Stay with us. Three, two, one. Good job. Felt that. <laughs> oh, we felt that. All right. All right. We are warmed up. We are warmed up. We are good to go. Good job, good job. All right. It's all about making those small incremental, small progressions here through the week. I know earlier this year, some of these movements may have been challenging for you. So challenging for anyone. So, um, you know, seeing how we feel towards the end of the year now uh, really puts things into perspective on how we can take those small steps to really add up to that one larger goal, whether it was lifting heavier or uh, conditioning or, uh, you know, heart rate elevated, uh, burning a little bit of body fat. So a lot of those can really help out uh, with small steps, small progression. So 10 seconds here, enough of that. Squat to calf raises coming up in three seconds here. Two, one. All right, team, let's go. Third round, we are almost there. We are halfway there. Good. Good, nice strong movement here, dropping down comfortably into our squat Again, keeping our chest up as we lower down our knees are tracking over the front of our toes maybe we pause at the bottom maybe give yourself that pause at the bottom explode up 
with purpose, with good intention. 10 seconds here, seven seconds. Last five, out in three, two, and recover here. When was the last time we've done calf raises? Huh? You, we're really kind of feeling that activation here. <laughs> really feeling the activation in our calves. All right, seven yeah. seconds. <laughs> Stretch those a little bit extra later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, bicep curl to overhead press. Here we go. And we're working here. <clears throat> Good. We always want to move with, with intention, right? We'll move with intention. So really be mindful of our elbows being tucked in close to our body with that bicep curl. Roll out to that T formation. Overhead press. Control that all the way back down. 10 seconds here. Nice quality reps. Remember our feet. Shoulder width apart, soft bend in our knees so that way we can take some pressure off of our knees. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good work. 17 seconds of rest here into our dumbbell row. 20 seconds on each side. Starting off with my right side here. Left leg forward, right leg back. Right arm has the weight, three seconds. Nice wide stance. Two, one, hand on the knee. Squeezing at the top. Good. Maybe this round we are raising the tempo. So whatever pace we are at when we are raising that weight up to our torso, let's try and speed that up just a little bit. 22, 21. All right. Let's alternate to the left hand here. Half the time on one side. Good. Going to pick up the pace just a little bit. Really feel that activation in our lats. Mid to upper back, squeezing at the top. Last three seconds, looking a few feet ahead of us. Back is flat, two, one, and time. Good job. <laughs> good work, good work. We have earned 10 bicycle kicks and two leg raises. <laughs> <laughs> what a reward that is. <laughs> Five <laughs> seconds here. We are leaning back. Two, one. Shoulder blades are off the floor, rotating up. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Really stretching those legs out. Out of those 10, up into two leg raises. Settle back in, 10 bikes. Good. Good job. Last 10 seconds, let's try and speed it up just a little bit. Out in five, last three, stay with us team. Two, one, good job. Settle in, settle in, recover. 60 seconds here, grab that water, grab that towel. Stay hydrated with us. Again, if you were just joining us right now, we have just completed three rounds of a cardio and resistance space workout for you for today with our BFIT program for the exchange. Again, uh, this is a sp special workout Wednesday, but we normally come to you on Mondays at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you have any questions, any comments, leave us a note in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you, love to see how you're progressing, love to see where you're joining from, where you're watching from, and our specific goals to round out this year. I know we're coming up on the last bit of this year, so let's keep pushing team 15 seconds as we catch our breath and switch gears to that last and final round. It's all about pace here. All right, so toes to calf raises coming up in five seconds. Think about increasing our pace for more reps throughout the 40 seconds of work. Here we go, team, sitting back into our hips. We're working here. Nice, strong tempo here, nice, strong tempo. Deep breath in on the way down. <sighs> Exhale on the way up as you raise up into that calf raise. <sighs> Good. Halfway there, keep pushing, keep pressing. You won't see this one again today, mm -hmm. unless you play this video for a second time. <laughs> In that case, I encourage you, encourage you to share it. Share it, last five seconds, team. Two, one, good job, good job. Finish it off, two bicep curls, sorry. Bicep curls and press, so two, two, two dumbbells here. 
<laughs> pair dumbbells. Seven seconds, team. Grab our weight here. Stand up nice and tall. Feet shoulder width apart. Soft bend at our knees. Three, two, one. Here we go. Good. Here we are. Stay with us. Again, a combination movement here of a bicep curl, rotating up into a nice strong overhead press. 20 seconds in. Make sure to give yourself a good solid foundation, right? So feet are nice and strong, shoulder width apart. Soft bend up our knees, on our knees. If we need to split, go into a split stance. Maybe it's pushing that leg back to kickstand style. Three seconds here. Two, one, and time. There we go. Recover, recover, recover. Drop one bell. We have rows here. 20 seconds on each side. My right arm is coming up first. So my left leg is forward. Again, nice wide stance, giving us, giving us a nice solid foundation here. Left hand on our knee, two, one. Here we go, team. Nice quick pace here. Nice quick pace, nice flat back. Head looking just a few feet in front of us to give us that neutral spine. We want that straight spine all the way back to our ankle, kicking back. Nine degree bend at our elbow here when we roll up. Last three seconds, two, one. Let's alternate arms. Switching sides here. Nice, quick pace once again. 10 seconds. Whew. Nice deep breath in on the way down. Whew. Exhale as you row up. Three, two, one, and recover here. Good job. Good job. Way to raise the tempo. Ready to raise the pace. 13 seconds here. Last and final movement. Last and final round. Here we go. 10 bike kicks, two leg raises. <laughs> All right, team, let's go. 40 seconds on the clock. Good job. 10 and two here. One, two. Stay with us here. Stay with us. Good. Last 20 here. 10 more seconds and we're gonna go directly into just leg raises. Four seconds, three, two, one. Last 10 seconds, all leg raises here. All leg raises, nine and five. Last three, two, one. Last rep, finish it out and time. <laughs> good job, good job. What a go. All right, team. All right, let's settle back in here once again. Once again, thank you for joining us. Let us know how you're feeling. How are you doing, team? How are you doing, BFIT Nation? Good work today. Good work. Again, this was a, a combination of cardio-based movements and resistance-based movements that help build our strength, our stamina, our endurance. Um, you know, if you're testing for any specific uh, physical fitness tests, ACOT coming up, these are great alternatives to throw into your workouts to really spice things up and keep you dialed in to a full body workout team. All right, these movements can help you throughout uh, each individual, individual fitness test, but as well as, as anything else, if we're kind of training for life, so to speak, a lot of these functional movements can be based and can be applied to different movements outside of the gym, outside of your workout space. So great work today. So proud of you for putting in the work, putting in the effort. I know it's been a long year and we're coming down to the end. So Thank you so much for staying with us, Beep Fit Nation. Again, leave, leave us a note. Let us know how you're doing today. Sorry, Barry, how are we doing over there on your end? I'm doing great. It's super mm. awesome to be back. And I fell right into it. I didn't, um, I didn't feel out of shape for anything. So <laughs> I'll let you know later if I'm like walking around really sore or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. Let us, let us know how you're doing later. I think um, <laughs> what's great about consistency and dedication and, and, and um, falling back into things is, is, you know, that you've put in the work, you know, throughout the year and, you know, maybe the past couple of weeks, you know, some things, things come up, but jumping back into the routine, jumping back into the workout, it's almost like muscle memory. Your body knows, your body bounces back, your body adapts, and it 
picks back up right where it left off, you know, knowing that you're here to just put in a little bit of extra effort and some steps into the right direction, into that positive mindset of leading that active, active and healthy lifestyle. So I, from, from what I saw on my end, you didn't miss a beat at all. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to um, highlight with daylight savings, just a reminder to everyone to watch your sleep hygiene, because if you're anything like me, I don't, my cats didn't get the memo that we had daylight savings, so they're still waking me up way too early in the morning, and it's a reminder of how important sleep is for recovery and, and everything. <laughs> I could not agree more. Uh, my two dogs uh, didn't get the memo as well, and they are on a uh, the, on the old uh, timeline here. So they are waking up <laughs> not on my schedule, but on their own. <laughs> <laughs> you feel my pain, then. <laughs> I feel your pain, and I'm sure others feel our pain as well. So uh, definitely, um, you know, keep that in mind. And sleep is so important to our recovery so important, you know, cognitively as well as physically and mentally. So the proper amount of sleep can really help us throughout our days, throughout our week. So thank you so much for pointing that out. And, um, you know, this week being um, Veterans Week, uh, I think I, it's, it's really important to highlight um, all of our service members and, and our veterans as well for, um, you know, everything that you've done for us. And, and again, I know our exchange and family uh, sends out a, a big thank you so much as well, Sergeant Berry. No, no, oh. thank you, Roy, and and a same sentiments. Um, just thank you to our community and Happy Veterans Day. Thanks for everything. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, and and thank you so much for uh, sticking with me. We've been together, uh, working out together for almost uh, for over a year and a half now, I believe. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think our BFIT live programs are, are so much fun and so much, in, so much there's so much more, in, so much engagement. And uh, to have you here as well uh, really just highlights the program and highlights our workouts. And, and knowing that I have an accountability partner like yourself as well on the, uh, other, on the other end of here um, really just helps out so tremendously. And I think that goes to, to, to anyone out there if you're looking for assistance or help or motivation. Um, or any kind of spark, uh, find an account accountability partner, find that uh, a friend or a spouse or a, a sibling, um, coworker, and, and let's stay active, stay healthy, and, and stay ready and resilient and, and prepared for that long journey of, of health and wellness team. So with that, the exchange is here to help you on anything that you may need to help stay active and stay healthy. Um, so other than that, Sergeant Barry, that, that's all I have with us for today. Uh, uh, that looks like we're signing out, but again, next week we'll be here on Monday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We'll bring you a whole new workout of cardio and or resistance-based movements. Uh, let us know if there's something you would like to see within the workouts, and we will be uh, more than happy to see if we can kind of uh, put that into uh, whatever uh, workout we may have prepared for you. So with that, uh, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes here. Senior Mayor Sonny Berry. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> signing off. <laughs>